the Libra the look at weakness, yes. Don't die anyone, yes. This cannot! This cannot be! Why not? We can't be badasses? Yeah! Gomez defeated! Nice! Wow, 8,000! Cecil's level has increased to 40! Yes! We learned raise! Yes! Oh, We... We did it! We defeated him! Rydia's back! Rydia! You saved our lives! But what's happened to you? When we were attacked, Leviathan swallowed me and carried me to the land of the Idolans. The land of the Idolans? The Feymark, the place they call home. I lived among them and befriended them. I can't use white magic anymore, but by my summoning and black magic have grown stronger. Time flows differently in the Feymark, though. So that's why you... So that's why you've grown so much. Who is she, Cecil? This is Rydia of Mist. That child? This is a surprise indeed. But why would you come to save us if it weren't for us, your mother? Don't say another word. The Queen of the Eidolons told me this. The wheels of a fate greater than us all are turning now. She told me we must stand against it, and we must stand together. Rydia, thank you. Yeah! Rydia, join the party! Nice! We lost Sid, but we gained Rydia. Whew! Death will not claim dominion over me. What? And we walk away. The crystal! Forgive us, Gobez escaped and with the crystal. There was little any of us could have done to stop that, it seems. But now only one crystal remains. We must guard it with our lives. Where is the final one hidden? In the sealed cave to the southwest. Gobez left in that direction, but have no fear. The entrance is warded cannot be breached without the proper key. And so I have a favor to ask of you. It is our fault your crystal was taken. If there is anything we can do to be of aid, we will most certainly cooperate. Gobez makes for the sealed cave. This is the opportune moment for us to turn the tables. While he is chasing after the final crystal, you can enter the Tower of Babel and reclaim the other seven. The Tower of Babel? You would have us march into the enemy's own I'm right fortress. Back. We'll go check on the guys at Ark. Looks like one of the yes, guys. While our tanks left. create a diversion, the enemy's forces will be drawn out to fight. While they are occupied, you will have a chance to slip in and retrieve the crystals. Wait until Gobez returns, and that chance is lost. What do you think? About walking willingly into an enemy stronghold? It would be dangerous to be certain. But to risk nothing is to gain nothing. And King Giat speaks true. We must act now while Gobez is away. If we are to act at all. Very well. We will do as you ask. Excellent! In the basement of this castle is an entrance to a tunnel that will lead you near the tower. Oh, and I'd almost forgotten. I want you to have this. Obtain draw attacks augment. 
Please go as soon as you've made ready. I wish you the best of luck. Okay. How dare you use my dolls for something like that? Well, okay then. Well, we are glad. Um... Leave the throne room and take the stairs at the far right side. Got it. <sighs> uh, thoughts I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Uh get the weapons on armor shops. Don't buy the dwarf axe that you'll find one inside the castle. <laughs> Alright, dwarven axe. Okay. Okay. Nice. Cool. Love you too. Okay, so we made it upstairs. Yeah. Go up, to, go down. Okay, try to continue up the stairs. Now go down to the bottom of the room. There is a gap between the pot and the wall. did that. I think I'm getting everything. For a party, it doesn't have a lot of music. What are you talking about, The Amazing Asian? The, uh, the game? Yeah, I'm surprised Rudy is an adult, man. She was a child when she got eaten by the Leviathan.
Aha. There we go. Okay. <sighs> I gotta go back to the weapon shop. I gotta. I gotta go buy some gear, guys. What's up? Oh, uh, we've got a... One of the idiots is still up there talking stupid. Our little Swedish friend up there thinks he understands American history better than we do. Who, Kanda? No, Fawcett. And... Mm. What about American history? I... Uh, Dying about like World War One, World War Two, that America wasn't isolationist and we weren't trying to stay out of the war, but keep getting dragged into European conflicts. No, we were, were actually wanting to be in it. But unfortunately, it's thrust upon us because no one else will do it. I don't see Sweden offering up their military forces to go in and defend Kuwait. Actually, he's got a point. Yeah, I don't see anyone else doing it. <laughs> no, that's what I was saying. I was saying no one else is stepping up to do it. That's why we have to do it. That's why the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia came to us and asked us to go and stand at their borders. And that's actually why Al-Qaeda attacked us on September 11th, is because we were in their holy land, there by the invitation of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to protect them in Operation Desert Shield from the aggression of Saddam Hussein. Hi, friends. Hey, what's, what's up? up? I, I don't like. Whoa, echo. Discussions. Yeah, America was directly involved oh, in World War One. Yeah. Scott, well, I mean, I, we sure as hell can't expect freaking France to do any damn thing. I mean, hell, look what they did in World War Two. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a bunch of surrender monkeys, like most of Europe. The second they faced any sort of military opposition Everyone's from Germany, they just surrendered drink. instead of trying to put up a fight. Drink better and fight and capitulated much. immediately. A dwarf want to dance. That's one of the reasons we had to sink dance? most of yeah. the French Navy was that they were giving their ships over to the Germans. Not we. <clears throat> the British ended up having to do it. Yep. And I mean, hell, I mean, it's about the only freaking major country in Europe, well, I should say on the European continent, that really fought <sighs> for any goddamn thing with Russia. Well, Germany did quite a bit. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking for their own, to, for, to fight for their own damn country to keep from Germany taking them over was Russia. Yeah, and they really got backslided by Germany on that one, where it was supposedly supposed to be, you know, what was it? Uh, meaning even more, and it was. Whatever the name of the agreement was, but there was a non-aggression agreement between the two of them. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? Uh-oh. I'll just go back to my painting. Hey. Are you painting your house? James, thank you yes, for playing. Yes, I am. Do you think oh, I'm my pretty? my game house. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Let's go. Get to know Even each other. Even got the hell out of the, out of the channel. Well, no, 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 no. I was about to cuss him out. Because that shit really pissed me off. I've lost fucking little brother and fucking four crack to get them the fuck out of the fucking bullshit sucker like fucking pretty much spit on their fucking lives. Wow. I know. I, I just put it like this, man. I know the feeling, man. I served. I know Game Key knows the feeling, considering he served. You know. I serve as a taxpayer. Yeah. And a mighty and a mighty mighty taxpayer at that. You paid my yeah. You paid my paycheck, man. I love you. Yeah. I've bought I've bought my fair share no. of planes and tanks and everything else at this point, I'm damn sure. And highways and byways and federal buildings. That was really quick buildings. to get me that fucking match. Damn, man. You mean to tell me you paid, you paid for That's not what I want. I'm supposed to get something from a book because I love that gun. I don't know if I paid for all of it, but I'm sure a portion of my tax dollars went to pay for it. And the ammunition programming supply and shop. the training. No one beats me in our job. Guys, I found a spot. We need to build well, a Am I like in a developer section? I don't think I'm supposed to be where I am in the game, but 
This is kind of cool. Guys, we should build a base over here. And we've won this the developer Or talks. where? I'm... What coordinates? Um... Planner here. I do lots of different Doesn't things, like so adjust layouts. But no, I want to keep an area of Yes, I finished my drink. Control. You got any drink? drink? Give me give it. Can be hard for us to uh, manage it. 50, uh, give me a drink. Give me a drink. I need a drink. That's on the edge of our area of influence. There's uh, two waterfalls, and they look. Oh, I've actually saw um, somebody posted a picture of a snapshot that took in game of like a. A building, a base they built over one of the waterfalls. That looks pretty wicked. Brotherhood of Steel. Um. I think I'm somewhere that I don't nope. need to be. Am I allowed to raid people? Nope. No base rating unless it's a PvP scheduled event. I don't. Out in the wild, they're free game. I don't know where I am. No I don't know what I'm supposed to do. At their base. Right near the blue obelisk. Yeah, I know the area is. Yo. Hey, Georgia, what's up, buddy? What's up, man? <laughs> Have you been over to Troll Island recently and see the work I did last night? Uh -huh. My building is now completely metaled in, and a good half of my walls have been metaled in. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm painting right now. Trying to relieve some stress. A little aggravated. Well, yeah, don't do that shit no more. No more debates on fucking politics and religion and shit in chat. We don't need that. We're all friends. We try to have a good time. But of course, when it gets into, you know, religion and politics, people got their own views, and then it, it goes quickly yep. from a debate, a decent debate, as adults, to an argument. And it's a real quick line. One thing can get said, take it the wrong way, or the right way, you know, whatever. Or, you know what I'm saying? And it just turns into a bunch of bullshit nobody needs. Yep. Thing is, person that started the argument is the one who's complaining about it now probably uh, no he didn't complain whatsoever i talked to him first before i came and talked to y'all because i don't want this to continue and he actually enjoys debating and he didn't take it as an argument he just thought it was still like a, you know what i'm saying so th that's what i'm saying all the differences in people come out to play when you know personal beliefs and interests get brought into it and of course people will fight so bring up to an extent Say, and take it over you know, definitely be more than just while. a debate or whatnot and he, and he you know he could be trolling and then one and that's what he wanted hey, to do or whatever but open you know, we don't need it. Way, the, the, the yeah. simple part is the if you can't crime. Now keep it as a consequence. You know, Wait, simple what? debate where you're not <sighs> Starting to attack each other or your, the other person's beliefs, yeah, and just kidding. keep that Enjoy the rest of, of your adventure. Oh, Find okay. something else to fucking talk about. Even if somebody says something stupid and it's along those lines, just fucking change Why the subject. Him? You idiot! Watch where you're going. If it continues, then you, just you know, broke get a hold my arm. Of, it's really you know, broken. You're gonna pay to get it fixed. Of course, if I'm around, of course I'll squash it. you look, that's not gonna cover. It. Quick stomp. For major hassle. Hey, give me everything you got in the screen. Here's the Doge's muscles. Oh. And I'm fucking lost in there. I can't see a goddamn thing. I think I'm fighting the developer, the developers of Final Fantasy three or four. So like they're on playing against you right now? No, like they're little NPCs they created after themselves. I've fought one already, and like some of the other ones do goofy stuff. But like I'm in a developer area of the game, and it's kind of funny. What, like a secret area or something? Yeah, like. I don't, like, the, the guide told me to come here, but I don't know what the heck is here that I'm supposed to get. Um, I love watching Game Key, and thank you, whoever was saying not to debate about religion or politics, but one guy on the stream has done nothing but trash other states in comparison to Wisconsin, express how pissed off he is at the world. It's kind of annoying. Guys, it's it's the troll mod. He's allowed to at this point. Um, he's just expressing his feelings about things because he's tired of the debate going on in another channel in Teamspeak. So he came down to get away from that, and I and that's my fault. I did ask what happened, and you guys heard it, 
and then we're dealing with it, and that, that's completely understandable. That's my fault, guys. So sorry. I've earned that right. Yeah. <laughs> literally, guys. Literally. Uh, Scott Plant, like he said, he's earned the right. He's he's done quite a lot for us uh, recently. And if those of you who don't know, the ability to give away keys for World of Warships all came through Scott Plants, the troll mod. He helped me get keys to give away to you guys. Oh well, yeah, and if they don't want to hear it, you can always like mute TeamSpeak where they can't hear it, can you? True. Or I can Scott, always hop off TeamSpeak for a little while. Quit, Scott. Stop being... No, no, no. I, I, the problem is... That I don't let this. yourself get aggravated over it, bro. We're playing a game. This, this holiday I'm gonna come rob your back. Where you at, gang? Oh, I'm hear somebody just chilling. Talking stupid this time of year irritates oh, me more than any other time. Wait, so I'm always eating poultry. It's my favorite. Oh, my does it taste any good? <laughs> but, oh, the chocobo left. It's, it's, it's just gotta look at it like it's ignorance, man. Lots of people are taught one way or taught this, taught that. Don't know I how shit. Designer goes, back when I was a human. Yeah, you, you're just beating yourself against a brick uh, wall trying to. Ironically, it's my. Bro, Thanks for playing. I was the producer for the smartphone version of Final Fantasy III, right and now this one, Final Fantasy IV. Girl, snob I worked hard to enhance the graphics call. and make the game easy to play on computers. Yours. How do you like the battle screen? Oh, that's awesome! Saying Euro snobs normally trash talk America the most. Oh, Rainbows and unicorns and butterflies. I don't yeah, understand what's going on, on but okay. We're hurting Zuzis. Sensible or not sensible. Uh, gentle sensibilities. So, um, anybody want to come oh, and uh, take this level 80 Spinosaur? I'm busy painting. You should paint, your white, paint, paint what you're painting all red, white, and blue. Red is huh? one of my primary colors. It's, it's our tribe color, so um, I am sticking with the red. Holy crap! I'm doing something, some events and shit for the holidays. Yeah, it'll probably come out on Monday. <laughs> Which I didn't know the fucking banks were closed today. I yeah, like got, up, got up in a fucking rush to get to one just to figure out they've been closed all fucking day. I hate rushing when I wake up with a passion. Yeah, so do I. I feel like I'm rushing all the time anyways. It always feels like I'm behind. And I'm like a real behind, I feel We're like trying I'm to behind. fight the developer. You're actually fighting one of the developers, the Gmo. What the hell, man? Yeah, fighting a developer, yeah. I'm getting my butt whooped, but... Oh, and that fight is over. Who the hell is Meat Man? He's a member of our tribe. That's a big ass fucking right now, G. Oh, cool. It wasn't like it was the end of a fight or anything. Like we were gonna die. It was just like for fun. Please, you have to listen to my problem. The problem is, I don't have any. And I'm starting to think black floors and floors are not a very good idea. Is it just really dark outside tonight? Yeah. No. Okay. No. I no, really? Then. It's a full it's fucking moon. It's bright really? as hell out. Uh, go look outside. Fuck, it is pretty bright. Wow. It's a bright ass night. Damn, I might have to put some lights up in here somehow. I could put some lights close up here, I think. Be real careful with them. They need to fix them too. Maybe it's my graphics, but their lighting is. Uh, man. It like points at one wall, and then that, that it'll brighten up from that. Like it doesn't brighten like you think a light should. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like Maybe I'll just put torches area. and then like stand torches with spark powder. It's like something. a cone of brightness. It's weird. There's something for you, Anthony. The What's Gmo, up? The Gmo you cannot beat. I can what? You cannot yeah, beat the Gmo. Oh, that. You cannot beat him. Oh, like he's impossible? It won't happen? Yeah, and he uses cursed energy and gas abilities. Uh, oh. 
Oh, you're talking about that one that crushed me? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Oh, right, I'm Takashi Tokita. I can't believe well, it's been 21 years. I'm sticking years. with the Black floors. It's too late now. I'm halfway through. Once you complete all the tasks in the developer office, by speaking to all of the developers, engaging in each of their fights, <laughs> it's not necessary to win, and find the lustful Lally Ho, and have it confiscated by Nagahori, you'll actually, get the, reach, you'll actually get the reach augmented. Hey guys. Oh, okay. Hop off for a bit too. Later. Get unirritated. <laughs> guys, in voice a bit. Too long. Later, man. Hmm. Bye -bye. I'll be back later. No good. Can't remember. This is pretty darn cool, then. And the developer's office is even in Final Fantasy IV, the after years. Oh, nice. No, no, and no. I won't hold on to your extra items for you. Do it yourself. My job is marketing. <laughs> That's awesome. He said, no, no, I won't hold on to your extra items for you. No, no, my job is marketing. <laughs> That's great. All right, I think I talked to everyone. So I'm supposed to get this magazine? I uh, should get a uh, reach on yeah, it from somebody. <laughs> I got an achievement, I know that. But I don't know where I'm supposed to get it. Have you, play, have you fought the trap door in the make break room? The trap door in the break room. Yeah. Talk Not to sure. Talk to everybody, including those in the mu music room and break room. Fight the trap door in the break room. You can use all the battle, but you must defeat. Then talk to a young boy in the break room with a female character in front. Use the Y to change characters. So you have to use a female character to talk to the boy that's in the break room after you beat the trap door. Okay. Then find the lustful lolly ho in the bookcase in the break room and put it on the counter in the main area. You can place it on the counter just northeast of the black cloak guy. Oh, okay. If you've done everything right, you'll find a sparkly on the ground in the break room. Talk to it to find the reach augment. Don't do anything with this augment for now. Yeah, I'm supposed to keep the magazine on me and fight uh, against Tokita, who's this flame thing, and he'll join my party to fight. Nice. But I don't know what I'm doing there. Okay. Um, have a good night, Pikmin lover. Thank you, my friend, and you have a good night.
Okay, I got Reach Augment. That's what you needed. That's that's what that's it. You got it. And now what? And that's pretty much it in there. Okay. So you I don't. The pain yeah, that's so... kind of what it is. What? I'm talking about the painting that I'm doing. Uh, I have no clue. No, I mean, what do I do now with the reach off? Just hold on to it. You don't use it yet. I used the same technique for painting my hotel. <laughs> I went. I went and talked to everybody. I don't know where this book is. It. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Interesting content and then make it come true. Uh, you don't have to now. You've already got the reach I got a fist with your name on it. <laughs> what? Fire Sun 18 and Miyas Miyasa uh, Miyasuko. How are you guys? How are you having a good night? Or are you having a good night? This is kind of funny. I've never seen this guy before. Nice. <laughs> Such a long punch. I'll just let you know. I don't... I'll, uh... I'm not gonna say how, but I do have Final Fantasy IV after years, so I'm gonna start playing through it later on. I'm not gonna stream it, but yeah. Okay, I'll be playing that next. Well, you don't want to admit you illegally download games? I'll admit, I'll admit I illegally download games, but yeah, I mean, if I had the damn money, I'd have done bought the damn thing, but shit, I'm broke as shit. They were super cheap during the summer sale. Hmm. Yeah, and unfortunately, summer sale was a week before I got freaking paid. Oh, man. All right, so I'm using a, a female NPC to talk to who? Uh, I don't know if you've got to do it now because you do have the reach augment because that was the deal for getting the part of the thing supposedly on the 3DS for getting the augment. Hmm. I'm supposed to do something here. Let's go to items. You should be getting... Uh, somebody by the name of Edge soon and they're saying to use uh, the reach augment on either Sid or Edge alright we have the lustful magazine a truly rousing read <laughs> that's funny okay so that's fine um, that means we keep it we keep it on us when we get in that fight with Mr. Narita the, the flame guy Let me look something up real quick, see if I can find out. Or, no, Mr. Takeda, I'm sorry. Uh, he, when we have the item on us, and we're fighting him, here we go. Oh god, that's a freak, that magazine's a porno mag, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it's supposed to be. And, uh, we're supposed to talk to this guy. Um, the magazine serves a purpose in the DS version. After getting a copy... Please take me with you. ...the stool in the developer's room causes it to be confiscated. One of the requirements is getting the re for getting the reach on it. There are, in fact, multiple pornographic magazines in the DS version. Um... 
I keep thinking you're gonna say reach around. Found in the Dwarven Castle, and the Ninja Sutra. Several rigs can be found in Eblin. The player can use it in battle, but it will not do anything. It's apparently Cecil's favorite magazine. Cecil's not the only character who can read the magazine since the character, uh, since any character can be in the lead, any playable character except for Taylor can read it at any point in the game. Huh. That's not fair. Yeah. Taylor should be able to read porn too. I don't know who to talk to with the thing in my hand. With your thing in your hands? No, I mean with the with the book in my inventory, I'm supposed to talk to Mr. Takeda with this item in my inventory and he'll happily join us. But do I do I finish the battle regardless? Sure, I mean, you could try using it from your item panel while you're in the battle against him and it might do something, I don't know. Yeah. True, true, I did not think about that. I mean, with it being a porno mag, you could probably use it as an item in battle and it probably affects him or something. <laughs> what? Oh, right. I'm Takashi Tokita. I can't believe it's been 21 years. Uh, he left! Another porno mag. Yeah, the Ninja Sutra. Oh wait, that was it didn't do anything. Am I supposed to use it somewhere? I have no clue. Let me see if I can find anything. I used one. I have one more left. Oh, well, it doesn't matter now. I have not.
I probably should have ran out and saved. Baby girl. <laughs> Don't you look cute? Chocolate all over her face. Um nice, nice. Yeah, Grim isn't leaving. He was saying bye to uh Pikmin. That's just funny. Here we go. Yeah, we're having, like, people light off M80s like crazy around here. It's getting ridiculous. Alright, welcome! Great bow. Flame sword? Nah. Flame Lance. Okay. Welcome. Flame Shield. Flame Mail. Sage Milter. Sage. Oh, Sage's Mitre. Sage's Surplice. Rune Armlet. Okay. Equip. We need one more flame mail. <laughs> Thirteen defense, four magic defense, yeah. Lustrous Helm. Yeah. We'll keep the Lustrous Shield. Blade is 13,000. So maybe I should put the sleep blade on? <sighs> what up, the amazing Asian? I see you constantly disconnecting and reconnecting. That's how I'm, I'm seeing you. I'm seeing it say welcome. Like you're like constantly in and out of the channel. Um, I was just curious if you're having issues. Let's see. Mithril Sword. There's the Shadow Blade. Coral Whisker. Cast Death. Uh, oh, that's you. Yes. 
Okay. What did you think it was? Oh. Let's see. Let us actually look. What is Kane's equipment? The Bloodlands. Flame Lance. And he's not using it because we have the Blood Lance. So... Should we... Oh, crap. Let us see. Welcome. Let's go, flame mail. <laughs> Let's go, equip. Here you go. here now um let us actually go level up and grab some gold <laughs> run you dragoon run Look at Bacchus. He's like, I don't know. Er, Bacchus. Freaking Yang. He's like, I don't care. Because I don't care. Because I don't care. We're going to do some fighting to get some gold, my friends. We need Gil. Gil, Gil, Gil. Because I want to buy as many arrows as I possibly can. Okay, do I end up using arrows, guys? Or do I have to aim with those specialty arrows? A mithril shield. Nice. Uh, that was about a one hit. Good night, baby girl. Mwah. That's what she says. Night night. Sure. Love you too. Ah. We got ourselves a nice mithril shield on that last fight. I wonder what we'll get from this one. Oh, 
<sighs> Granted, every fight is usually different. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah! I see you there, uh, Scott Plants. Troll mod rules! So who in here was talking crap about troll mod? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, Love you too, babe. Sink and swim, you mother fluffer. That's right. I think that was diluted. Come get some. <laughs> also, Sunday, I will be bringing back multiplayer day. So, those of you who want to play Terraria with us and get crazy. We are going to play Terraria, and I am going to invite as many people as we can possibly handle on Terraria and the PC itself. Um, I'm kind of a little excited about it, but I'm also kind of scared that the, the 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 laptop may not be able to handle all of the awesomeness happening at one time. I was taking a little break in there to go troll a channel. Apparently, no one wants to take me up on it, so. Ah, Deluded Raven, have fun with Scott Plants. He's wanting to goof around and have fun, man. Oh no! Rosa's down! What I need to do is finish meddling up these fences and putting in new gates. I'm building me a metal or a farming metal farming game base on the other mountain. Nice. I want to put a behemoth gate on each one of the four sides. What an awesome paladin. Mm, excuse me. Are you building over on that mountain right by your base there? Yeah, the closer mountain. Yeah. What is that mountain called? Uh, hit H doesn't give you a location. Unknown region. Huh. It's the unknown mountain. 
and I'm gonna keep it that way. <laughs>
I was blown away. Like I watched some of his past broadcast earlier today and I couldn't believe it. A man with literally born with no arms and no feet was playing Counter-Strike Go and he was doing really well. It was really cool. Um, I couldn't do that because I played Counter Strike Go with my feet. So, was... um, this guy literally was using like his right like elbow, like where his elbow would be. He was using like his nub and like the nub out of his shoulder to play games on the computer. Like he's already Twitch partnered and everything, but it's it's just amazing to to see someone with that kind of a disability like do so well in the gaming world. it was uh, awesome i have a disability too i'm old does that count for anything hey you're just old hey, you're not on my reaction speed did you count you know, you're like you're not a cretin yet close <laughs> Creepy, does that count? Creepy old man. I don't know. I don't I don't think you're there yet. Oh uh, I don't know. I kinda I, I've been caught more than once staring at the the young girls wearing those, you know, the, the yoga pants and stuff like that in stars. So <laughs> <laughs> the advantage is, is as a creepy old man, I'm basically invisible to most unattractive women. They don't even know I exist, so I know, right? Yeah. They're like right through you. That's that's how this beard is for me. I, I'm just a thing. They see the beard and turn the other way. I always joke around that I'm no longer the same species as everyone else. <laughs> Owen Nap. I'm 52 and I don't know if I'm grown up yet. There is such thing as a man child. But my wife claims I am. Okay, I think I've explored all of the map that I possibly can. Let's go back and sell some goods just so we have the Flame Lance in our inventory. <laughs> Where's Sid, the kid? <laughs> Sid is fixing the... Uh, Enterprise in order to withstand the magma and for the simple fact that we were shot down guys <sighs> guys if you could retweet Scott Plants's link there on Twitter it would be much appreciated guys because it is I buy power definitely also post that on your guys's Twitter feeds and send it out to as many people as you guys know it would be much appreciated the support towards I buy power guys we are trying to level up Rydia though too Rydia is the lowest on our team she's 33 yeah, we wanted to try and get to 35, 36. Um, everyone else is doing extremely well. Even Rosa is doing super well. It's amazing. Like, here's where we got shot down. And just to the southwest of the ship, we are at the Dwarven Castle. Yeah! Taking them out. Real good like. This is probably a great place to level up, guys. Yeah, so basically all of the games that are based off the of Final Fantasy IV that's come out all have that developer room somewhere in the freaking game. Oh, 
Oh, so both Final Fantasies have that? Four and four of the After Years? After Years has it. Um... Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy IV Interlude, After Years, and Final Fantasy Dimensions all have the developer's room. You said Final Fantasy Dimensions? Yeah, which they haven't brought for PC yet. No, it hasn't. And that's, they need to. That's why I was questioning, like, that's what is that? <laughs> I watched some videos on that one. That one would be fun. Are there are a lot of evil folk it's on the server. Uh, Google Play. Google Play is withdrawing right fleet, obviously. And usually, when they bring a Final Fantasy game over to mobile like that, they end up bringing it to PC. I mean, that's what they just did with all the other Final Fantasies when they brought them out on mobile. Uh, I kind of wish I got to play 7 on mobile. 7 was released in Japan on mobile, and it had some awesome story for the Turks, um, which were the bad guys of Final Fantasy 7 for a while. And uh, it, it just another another implementation of how Final Fantasy 7's story uh, had gotten bigger, along with all of the other Final Fantasy 7 related games. Like, I love you always and for yeah, I know, right? But I'll need to shower before we do that. <laughs> uh, item shop? Dude, you found you, it! So yeah! PC, you can get an Android emulator called BlueStacks that actually has Google Play support and link your Google account to it and then buy it from Google Play Store for for 17 bucks. Oh yes, we found the item shops and everything. There we go. Damn it. I didn't... Uh, I did not want to do that. Crap. I wanted to use the item shop. Let's go outside, let's save, and then we'll go down underneath the castle and start that whole trip.
Uh, also, we gotta go back to the inn and grab some items. There's like five grand of gill sitting in the item shop. Just chilling, you know. It's somewhere around here. Uh, Sayo Center 991, what is up, man? How are you? A little rest and I'll be fine, Molly. Sleep. Boars are tough as boulders, but even we get hurt from time to time. Yep. This is our infirmary. Oh, okay. You have King Giat's permission, then you may pass. I found a bookshelf. Does that mean more smut? Gishel greens. Gishel greens. Gishel greens. Weapons and armor. I'll uh, turn to the area outside the throne and take the left hand staircase which leads to an item shop. Okay. And don't stay at the end cheaper. Plus you will encounter healing pots before you have to start fighting. Search the pot next to the item shop for five thousand gifts. Next to the item shop. Hit no. Wow, there there literally is nothing right here. I just searched a corner. Nothing? Okay. I've been wow. spotted. I'm doing fine. Nice. Alright, now let's go through this door. Bally ho! Makes you want to start wall hugging. I know, right? That's what I'm doing now. Beware, the Tower of Babel has enormous cannons. Be safe. Ah. Cottage? Cottage? Cottage. Monsters of the underworld are strong and fierce. Don't let their cute faces fool you. Cute? We mean cute faces. I am brave, but you, you are very brave. Golbez may not be at the tower, but the strongest of the four archfiends who served him is Ruvikant, the, the Autark of Flame. Return to us hale and hearty. We dwarves have a saying, be bold, but if things look grim, run away and be bold another day instead. <laughs> we will draw the tower's fire with our tanks. Use that chance to sneak inside, Lolly.
HP MP restored. Okay then. This urn is brimming with the waters of life. So drink your fill. Okay. People are just lighting off fireworks in my area. Like, screw it! Oh, man. Alright, so we are on the level grind. I think at about level 40 for Rydia yeah, we and... we can't do fireworks from it in right, Spokane. So on the level grind. They've actually, they're actually banned in the city limits of Spokane. There's only two places in the county you can set them off, and it's Airway Heights, up where the Air Force Base is, and over at Medical Lake. It's got to be annoying for the Air Force Base. actually sets their own little thing off up there too. Um, that's actually uh, Fairchild Air Force Base up, up there. Oh, nice. Alright, getting some Medusa arrows. Quick ass thing is where I'm at. Where I live at, I can actually see when they set off a big ass fireworks display down at the riverfront from my house. Nice! Oh, <sighs> surprised! Oh no! Ow! Ouch! Eh. Scratch. Take that. Dead. Whack. There's apparently like only two places on the entire friggin' map. Like that castle, the Dwarven Castle, and apparently the Tower of Babel. Why would this stuff be underground? I could understand the dwarves living underneath the surface. That's one thing. However, you know, everyone else? Come on. The dwarves rule the land because there is no one else to uh, fight against. It's that whole hollow earth theory.
There are those tanks. Boy. Let's back up. This is kind of cool, though. I mean, I am surrounded by all sorts of lava. It's pretty nice and warm. Yang's getting his tan on. <laughs> pretty soon he'll be as red as his pants. I mean, what, what more can you expect? <sighs> I just feel sorry for Kane being in that freaking ar dark armor, man. He's got to be roasting his ass off. Yeah, Kane. Yeah. Rydia died. Dang it. We need Rydia to level up. Kane and Cecil, man. Alright, so I don't understand, but Yang has MP. For what? Like, seriously, Yang has MP. What the hell? sitting here like, I'm an idiot. Like, I was waiting for it to happen, and my brain's not registering. The words auto-battle did not come across the screen. <laughs> now I really feel like an idiot. Tell you what it is. I'm just gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a fair warning. You're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" Wait. So, 
this same crew is in Final Fantasy IV The After Years? A lot of them are, yes, but it actually takes place 17 years after the events of this one. Oh, sweet! I was thinking because of it being Final Fantasy, it was just literally going to give me a whole new band of characters. No, you're going to have a lot of the same, and there's going to be a few that are going to be coming back. Um, I'll just tell you this. Um, your favorite, um, how should we say, self-sacrificing twins are back. Yeah! I'm pretty sure something at the end of this game is going to bring the twins back because I feel like uh, they're not forgotten because I can use items on them, but I don't have the items yet. So it'll probably be an end game event that I can do as part of like the like goodbye credits, like how Earthbound had, you know, meet and greet all of your friends and players across the game before you go home and do the end credits. So I figure I'll probably be releasing the twins during like a story scene or something. That'll be cool. Uh, releasing the twins, that's what I call it. My wife takes her bra off. <laughs> I just wonder when the actual Final Fantasy is going to be, because they keep talking it's Final Fantasy, but there's like 15,000 of them. So at some point they have to have like the final Final Fantasy, right? Well, see, that's <laughs> the, thing. the original Final Fantasy was supposed to have been the last game Squaresoft ever made, because at the time they were actually going bankrupt, and it was originally released on the MSX Spectrum system, but they were originally going bankrupt. And they hired the guy that is still doing Final Fantasy, by the way, to do the game for them as their last hurrah as a company and everything else. And they weren't expecting it to blow up, and it literally did. They ended up making over freaking a billion dollars within the first year of release. And it was actually Final Fantasy that saved Squaresoft from going bankrupt and closing down. That was why they actually called the game Final Fantasy, because it was supposed to have actually been the final game they ever did. Well, I'm still waiting for that Final Fantasy, because I keep hearing about it, like, oh, the new Final Fantasy. It's not final. None of this is final. <laughs> That's why they're working on 15. Yeah, and if you want to get technical with all the little offshoots, and, and the spin-off games and everything else. 15 technically should be something like 25 or 26. Something crazy like that. Because then like People 7... sequels in Hollywood. Good lord. <laughs> well, 7's actually really interesting in the fact that they made so much story around Cloud, Genova, Shinra Company, Vincent, who's in there, um, how Sephiroth's created... Like, all sorts of those characters have the spin-off games, and one of my favorites being Dirge of Cerberus on the PS2 was actually very exciting to me, because you played as Vincent, who was learn like basically pulling uh, uh, all of this information from Shinra as you found it throughout the game, and learning about Genova and Shinra and the copies of Cloud's... Um, was it Cloud's Mentor from Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core? Um, Cloud's... Not Cloud's, but Zack's Mentor as well. I believe is Angeal. Then you had Sephiroth. Then you had the third-party friend who was also created. He was supposed to be a rich kid. And they all have the same thing. And it was like in a, in a creation of perfecting Sephiroth. And... And then there's the whole thing with... Final Fantasy Advent Children, that movie that they did that tied it all freaking together. Supposedly. The the other uh like the Dirge of Cerberus was a little different. Um in the fact that uh basically uh 
Dirge of Cerberus was like a behind the behind the workings of Shinra on on all of the lab work about Sephiroth and the Genova project, which was kind of cool. That's uh, like the only big spoiler of of Dirge of Cerberus was that like they're they're pulling a lot of information from Shinra. What up, Blood Crow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready to fucking kick you. <laughs> How you doing, Blood Crow? Uh, I'm making YouTube videos. I'm finally getting off my ass and doing it since I'm not sure. YouTube videos? What, you're finally not playing Elden? What? Doing YouTube videos or RedTube videos? Who says I'm not doing both at the same time? Lee's <laughs> 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 over here like, oh my god, and I'm just like, yeah, you never know. Him and his wife might might be like me and you. They might like watching hey, fun together. Hey. <laughs> She's like, shut up, asshole. We're not supposed to tell people that. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's right now, and now everyone knows. Well, hey, it's the night hey, people watching hey, GameKey. Hey, I know shit. I know shit on him. Don't I? <laughs> well, I know shit on you, Blood Crow. <laughs> as much as I know on him. Everyone has dirt on everyone, thanks to my stream. On who? Me? Or Genki? Oh, Genki. now Blood gets quiet. Genki. Now I'm trying to pull my damn steam up. Where is it? You know, I just realized that if you say Genki fast enough, it sounds almost like you're saying Genki. Ha! <laughs> or Genki. Genki. <laughs> it happens. All right. Whenever he comes in, it's announced as Gam Three K Three Y, and the K Y always catches my attention. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Clam Taco called me uh, Game Three K Three Y for the longest time, and now he's finally calling me Game Key. That's <laughs> oh, right. On my on my clan team speak, my phonetic name is actually. Sniper. Welcome, Grizzly Sniper American One. Asshole. How is your evening, my friend? One thing that's really oh, I funny. Want that one. one thing that's really funny is that whenever I go on a uh, Clam Tacos channel um, and I start talking in chat, it's so funny. It, the first, it, I don't know, I don't know. I, I started something with him because when, when I first found him, right, Anthony, when I showed you to him, yeah. Uh, how I found him was that stupid video. My end, they kinda don't. He was like sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, and like every time I went in there now. It's like I'll go in there and say my anaconda don't. He's like, he's like my anaconda don't. What's up, bud crow? You know, it's so weird for me. So, blood crow, are you logging in to be able to uh, relinquish your ownership of the tribe of Doja? Yeah, I'm, I need to do that since I'm not going to be playing it until Albion's over, which is going to be probably until August, so... And hey, if it's a yeah. possibility, is there any chance that I can get access to the game server account as well, so that in case Doge is not on or Rage quits, I can also have access so we can do updates? <laughs> it's come close yeah. a couple of times where I was worried about him Rage quitting, so... I got Rage quit. No! There were a couple of times you kind of threatened to do it, dude. I guess I need to take a break. And you don't do very good at breaks. So <sighs> really what you said. <laughs> All of my friends, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'll log in, man. Uh, I'll give it to does Doja, you Grim or Scott? Which one of y'all want it? Take it. Give it to Doja. He's a more responsible play. owner than me. I don't play. I ain't played right now, but shit. What? I, I, I haven't been playing lately because as hot as it's been, even with my liquid cool, I've been having issues. I just had my computer about. An hour and a half, two hours ago, completely shut down on me from heat. It's just it's hot here, and I got a shittier computer. Oh, hey, Blood Crow, got a question? Uh, got a got a favor to yeah, ask of you. You What's got that? air conditioning though, probably. I don't have shit in the fan in the window. Um, Scott Plants made a post. Could you, uh, Scott Plants, could you give him the post link, and uh, could you possibly retweet that and have your community retweet it as well? It's oh, it's yeah, pointed yeah. directly at I by power, but still. I dropped it in the uh, uh, chat. For you. Thank Actually, you. I got, I got, 
you know I've got a few people in my th thing if I, if I ever tweet stuff, which I've been lacking on that. Thank you, Blood Pro. It'll be much appreciated. There we go. Retweeted. Just trying to drop a little Done. pressure on them to get this shit fixed. Well, I mean, to be completely honest, if I was a owner of a company and I come to find out that my employees are not treating a customer because it doesn't matter if it's one person, right? One person can ruin thousands of potential new customers. I'm potential looking at Yelp.com and everyone's reviews are similar to mine. Either the computers don't work, the product isn't good, or they're being told to F off because they've already spent their money. Like literally customer service is hanging up on people or giving them such bad service that people are like, I'm stuck with a computer that doesn't work. What do I do? That and anybody that posts a negative review on Damn. Yelp, I've noticed is going into the, uh, what, what do they call it? The uh, unhelpful reviews or some shit like that section. I noticed a lot of folks who've posted reviews this year alone who are getting talked to by the marketing manager. Um, I've still not heard anything from the marketing manager. What they need to do is quit using these third-rate fucking pieces of, like, you know, GPUs and CPUs and actually start using, like, actual good brand products. Sapphires, you know, um, EVGAs, things like that. Things that I've never, ever had a problem with. And if it's from there, well, first off, we also know they don't know how to build a computer. Because, Game Key, remember, we were talking about it. And me, I I'm a person that if you let me see the computer, I will go through it and dissect it. And first things first, you check the basic stuff. Check connections, you check screws, you check the hardware, you make sure it's seated correctly. Make sure everything's plugged up. Then you move into other aspects of the computer. And Anthony, you said you had the uh, one of your friends check it out. And come to find out, lo and behold, they didn't have some of the things plugged in. Uh, some of the brass um, motherboard settings were not screwed in all the way. It's like, what the fuck? Were they hiring, like, nine graders? Um, basically, he's, he's not sure what the hell's going on either. And it's the simple fact that we even have to have one of the cables tested to the uh from the power supply to the graphics card tested because he's like i think one of them cables is dead i don't know which one it is but it literally seems like one of them might be deadline so there's no juice flowing through it and the gpu's sucking all that power through the other cable trying to continue to run and it's still not getting all the juice it needs which would make sense for all the issues i'm having but he's still, again, he still states that anything could possibly be wrong. Anything. It can be my environment. It could be a part inside the computer. It could be a screw that's loose that shouldn't be, that's grounding on the motherboard. You know, we don't know. And it's just like, ho holy crap. Henry Marshall, how are you? And welcome. Yeah, to be honest with you, I can't wait to actually start getting back into work because, um... I know by the time I actually get into it... You're um, telling me. I'm going to have so much new shit to do. You should but, come over here if you get in-game and come check out Troll Island Harbor. There have been some changes. Has anyone done any other extra... Oh, we've got nearly 20 people on right now, too? That is awesome. No, yeah. whoa, 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 wait. Yeah, it is, too. Yeah. Whoever's well, been bumping. Um, can I ask... Uh, did we ever have the Tribe War? No. It got cancelled because... People were having issues locking in, and um, other people couldn't get in. People were, you know, getting disconnected, having errors during that night, and it just all fell apart, dude. It all fell apart. Like, we were all pumped to, like, kill the hell out of each other, honestly, dude. I mean, we all were, but, uh, you know, I'm, you know, yeah, it just didn't happen. And now happened. Borderlands has gone elsewhere, so yeah. even on, he doesn't even play on the server anymore. Aww. Some of his tribe is still oh, left over, but... I'm not Genki is. I'm, like I said, I'm trying to do YouTube videos. Oh, and get never some mind. Stuff done. But I watched a funny video the other day. What video? We're over here I'll leveling up, guys. Snap! He don't want to say shit. Yeah, tell us now. Come on. Not one stream. person. Stream. He's only streaming like six people. Oh, burn! Yeah. 
Yeah, I had it's like true. I'm 40, one I had of 40 them. Or, I had 40 or 50 people watching me earlier playing Albion. So. Oh, when I got there, you had 17. Yep. When I popped in, I was giving you shit. Yeah, I know. So. <laughs> it was up to like 40, 50, and then it dropped down because Doc got game and a few other bigger people got on. And uh, they were supposedly saying they had alpha keys, and I was even told by Bezel, Bezel Babe actually uh, that she's not. They've not given out any alpha keys to people just yet. So they probably did a bunch of buys. Yeah, they could have bought them, bought the packages. Yeah. But you know, they're they're big enough streamers that they're probably making a little bit of money, especially Doc. He's making enough money. He could go out and spend like about fifty bucks or something, or a couple of them, and you know, give them out. Me. Yeah. Yeah, a couple donations. He goes and spends them on keys. Not surprising. Yeah. The black guys take their donations and some of their subs and turn them back into keys for the stream. No, I mean that's what that's what any good streamer will do. That's even what I'll be doing, you know. But uh, hell, right now it's just. <clears throat> I can't lie though. My biggest thing for me to stream and play is World of Warships. And War Thunder. I get like over 100 viewers and I stream that all the time. So, as much as I love Albion and stuff, as much as I love Ark, I hate to say it, but if I really do want to get partnered quicker, I need to stop streaming everything and just stream more to Warships and stuff like that, because that would actually get me partnered. I would say you want so, to stream that a couple of days a week, but still, you know, if you want to play Albion a couple of streaming a couple of days a week and Ark one or two days a week, but I would probably think, yeah, I've seen that too. Most of your numbers are coming from. World of Warships, I would keep doing that because people love watching you and learning how to play carrier from you. Carrier, you know, everything. Play carrier. Now, one of the few that play ah, carrier. So this is, is the other like, side. People of have that. seen me play like you know, one night. People were like, "Oh my god!" I think Doge, it was you. Whenever I was dodging those torpedoes, saying that would get like, me close. I can't remember what it was, but I had like twelve torpedoes shot at me, and they were all like perfectly aligned, and I don't know how I didn't get hit by them. I was like in the uh, Murmansk, Murmansk, or. One of the, it was one of the Russian ones. I think it was the the Grimmy. I call it Grimmy, the the destroyer. Oh my god, I dodged them so hard. It was man. But yeah, I think what I'm gonna start doing is streaming out. I'll be in the morning for like four hours or so and not overkill on myself, and then later at night, you know, be like, hey guys, I'm getting off for a while and go stream a couple hours of you know, you know, World of Warships just to to keep the momentum going. Or vice versa, whichever yeah, way. Yeah, Void Reaper, morning, welcome to the channel, channel, man. How are you? Yeah, because I've been watching your uh, your growth a little bit, and you've kind of stagnated a touch. Yep. And that could be you're under a lot of competition with Albion. There are a lot of streamers out there streaming it. Um, you know, and a lot of your community came to you through World of Warships. So you know, there's a couple yeah, of like, factors what the... to look at in there. Yeah, and they're like, what the fuck's he playing? And it's like, what is this? And my community yeah. left and went to yours, Blood Crow. Like, they were just like, you ain't playing World of Warships. It's like, we're like, can't really do a ton, ton of things but anymore. Thing is, but the thing is, though, is that my followers are not dropping off. I'm still getting followers every day I stream. They're not going down. So that means the people that were watching me for World of Warships are probably just waiting to see the email pop up. And then when they see me playing the World of Warships, they're probably going to jump on the stream. But when oh, I'm playing yeah. Albion, they're like, oh, he's playing something we don't care about. We'll just wait till he plays it. Cause just like Brain Cage, right? He, he was on that Diablo 3 streak or whatever. He dropped yeah. down from like two, three 300 viewers down to like 40, 50, <laughs> mostly of subs. <laughs> and he went back to uh, World of Warships like a few days ago and uh, was playing. He went back up to like 200 viewers. Dang. That's freaking awesome, though. Yeah, but what he needs to do, and what I'm going to start doing, or probably what you should do, Anthony, once we get your damn computer back in the next millennia. Um, I know, right? Let's just get a warp drive and get this shit over with. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Nash is actually working on them, and they almost got, a, got one working. Really? Yeah. I, they're they're actually, actually working on, they've actually got prototypes of ion pulse drives capable of a warp factor 1.5. Which I'll believe it when I see they it. They're actually coming out with a true measurement for the speed. Okay. Too much Star Wars and LSD at the same time. <laughs> well, I'm saying. Well, what he's saying is basically NASA has already got engineers working on futuristic technology for space travel, and they're implementing these small prototype models 
and try and getting them to work and once they're verified to work they're yeah, already yeah. trying to implement them on a real life scale yeah i read an article that's an engine that doesn't take motion and all this good stuff for for space flight but did you see how how much it produces it wouldn't even power a little fucking matchbox car yeah, oh like yeah a thousand plus of them so to to, to we are something. not close whatsoever and take years <laughs> to get up to speed no, but the well, fact is, is yeah. we've started, and that's oh, yeah. that's a you know, you know that's a good point. And then like as technology and stuff grows over time, with what is it Moore's law, it's just going to get better. Yeah, Anthony. By the way, I think I mentioned this the other day, but freaking Yelp has your well, Yelp and I buy power have your, has your review. Uh, listed all the way over on the second page of the not recommended uh, reviews. Oh, nice. Yeah, they got, they got anti-social media people too that go through and make their shit look good, even though they're garbage. Wow, the game seems to be running pretty fucking smooth. Really? So Yelp threw mine as a not recommended review, but other people have like two to three paragraphs worth of bashing I buy power. And then the marketing manager's like, hey, we need to fix this. But yet... Oh, oh that I mean, just annoys me. Front page, man. Huh? There's a front page of the, uh, yeah, for I Buy Power on Yelp, man. They've got one up here that's a one star. That was from March 31st in here. Uh, that's right dead on the front freaking page. We're almost there, There's guys. Another one star from June, right on the front page. Another one from May. You know, and they've got they even got a more recent one from July 3rd. In fact, today, posted up. That's a one star review that is still sitting on the front freaking page. Um, they've got reviews going all the way back to February and March that are one star that are still sitting front page, and they haven't freaking. Dropped them over to the not recommended. I think you got underneath somebody's freaking skin to piss somebody off. Um, all of the customer service department guys does not like me right now. All of them. Because they know I'm upset with what's going on. And that I know I'm getting shafted when they tell me, well, your computer isn't worth that much. So if you want to change completely uh, the brand of part you have from an AMD to an NVIDIA graphics card or you want to change brands completely of a particular part we can give you the uh, uh, depreciated value of your system and tell you what it's worth now compared to when you bought it in August but I've quite literally only used my rig for maybe maybe three months and out of the ten months I've owned it and that's a big problem I'm surprised this game's running this smooth. What's that? Damn, I'm about to run this on Epic real quick to see what happens. I'm yeah, just. They've done a lot of improvements. Yeah, they've done a lot of oh, optimization wow. of Litro. It it looks really awesome, yeah. but I still can't play it. Well, see, that that's kind of like why I said earlier that I can't wait till whenever this alpha is over. I'm gonna start coming back on here and playing some more, and then doing some more to warships, doing my split stream again. Uh, hell, I may start doing a split stream now between War of Warships and uh, Albion because I can do War of Warships in the morning, right? Two, three, four hours, swap over to Albion um, and uh, carry my viewership over from there. And a few of those people that actually are interested in like MMOs, well, over the head MMOs, old school, you know, games like, like Albion, you know, they'll stick around, they're the ones to leave. You know what I'm saying? But, uh. I was watching that. Like before I got on, I talked to you earlier, but and then I went over to see Tangent or whatever. He, he was he's done like the same. He was playing Ark, then he went to Albion for a bit, and then he went to uh, Terraria or some shit. Terraria. Yeah. Some shit. Yeah. There's a new patch for Terraria out right now. It's patch 1.3, which actually completely changes the game right now. If you put it on expert mode. Don't just like I don't do it. I just want to finish what I'm saying. No, I just want to finish what I'm saying. Sorry. No, it's all right. But uh, fuck now if I can remember. Oh, I felt like like video games were digressing. 
You know, it went from a good looking game like Ark to a okay Facebook looking game and now the end and then to like a Super Nintendo game. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Well, you got you kinda go with what's popular and I hate to say it, but yeah, as much as as much as I love Albion and I love World of Warships and all these other games. I think the only real way to grow on Twitch is to be a multi-streamer, and you pretty much switch between multiple games a day, like two or three hours a piece on the games, and then you carry your viewers over from one to the other. You're going to have a high and number. Get people... from one to the other. Yeah, oh crap! Schedule first. I play this game at this time. You know, those people that will stay steady, and then if they like you, just like Burke, you know, he 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 does different games every day. You know, each day I think is like a different type of game and whatnot. Yeah, Saturday's Horror Night, Sunday's Viewer Night. Themed days are really good. Those is about to punch GameCube's dick. I know, right? I'm waiting for it to happen. Where's the fist in my computer? Your laptop's too small. You might break my Ethernet connection. I, I can't lie, though, dude. It, after watching him play Terraria, um, I don't know, it, it, it mildly piqued my interest into the game. When I saw the slime thing, and like he got like somebody in his group got a slime little ride, and he was like just jumping on their head like fucking Super Mario, like, get down, bitch, get down, you're going to die. <laughs> um, basically, it's, it's looking at the patch right now, um, this is what me and Cameron have come to realize, Blood Crow, because we were playing with uh, one of my viewers who's always here, uh, Super J Dog. Basically, we were playing with Endgame gear, and when the patch came out, our Endgame gear became beginning game gear all over again. Hmm. Yeah, I hate that. I've, there's been so many games I went back to like that where I don't even want to play them no more. It's like I worked at all this time to get this gear, and then. Yeah, you just go out and do a couple quests, and all the gear you spend all that time for is useless. Well, they've they've also implemented like if you like Terraria enough, there's a huge community that's Absolutely. brought in mods and stuff like that for the game. It's awesome. It's like Minecraft. If you like the game, it's never gonna end with all of the new stuff you can do. But this patch literally brought out new background, like new background backdrops for when you get to certain places in the game. A whole speck of new monsters, NPCs, NPC AI, they fight back now. That never happens. Um, See, it's, uh, it's amazing. Like, some skill, but it's the only thing that keeps me. Just like clicker games and stuff, I can't do it. I get, it gets so monotonous. <laughs> clicker heroes. Like, like Diablo 3. And some of those, I just, I get, they, they look good, like Diablo 3 looks good, and like Albion looks, well, I, the looks are okay, but it, it seems like it'll have a lot of content and MMO type stuff to do, but just like, I don't know, who can click faster? Yeah. Well, that's, that's just it. Um, Albion's not what you think it is. It's, uh, it, it's kind of gear dependent, but it's not, because right now my guild, we're at the point where... And I got pissed and raged off stream earlier. I'm not even gonna lie. I got pissed at what someone in my group did and said, "Okay, I got, I'm, I'm just gonna get off and pissed off and lose my temper. I'll take what y'all." Yeah, I've right. seen the group you were running with earlier, and I'm like, "That's all they were doing was a bunch of arguing, going back and forth. It took like 15 minutes to get going. I'm like, I can't watch this. Sorry, but I love you, but yeah, and to I, go. It, I know, dude. And trust me, I was like, after a while, I was just like, guys, I just, I just got because I, I went with this other guy. We went and I, I wrecked like two or three people by myself, right? They were um, pe killing people down a road, so they were like in tier three, which is not hard to get. But uh, they were killing like people that literally had just bought the game, didn't have anything to their See, name. Maybe, awesome. yeah. So I ran down the road, and they're like, "Hey, blood, yeah, there's some dick holes in this area right below our territory." And I'm like, "Oh, really? Because it's like our territory is, is like right above it, and the city's right below it. So it's like a, an area. So you can't really loot them, but you can like destroy their gear if you kill them multiple times, right?" So I was like, okay, okay, they want to be dicks. Let me go, let me go wreck them. So I went down there, killed two, three, four of them, knocked them down at least to their knees, and um, they do drop some silver based on their gear level. So I made a little bit of money. And then the Did other you guy. Did you get to get their gear? 
Not in yellow zone. No. We're, We're grinding out yes. levels right now, yellow guys. We want to get Rydia up um, there to level 40. So because we want her to be like, yeah, above a thousand health. Actually, go hunt down in some other areas. I'm like, mm, okay, we can do that. So went over, went to the same area, went towards the dungeon. We were looking for some more of the people that were doing that shit, right? Like they were waiting for people to come down the road and they were jumping them. Um, sort of like bandits or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And I call them assholes. Well, that too. So we fight our way through the mobs. They respawned behind us. We knew that was going to happen. And then the guy that was with me, you know, neither one of us had a healing abilities, was like, dude, he just jumps on his horse and says, I'm, go I'm just going to run out of here. I was like, dude, don't do it. You're going to get us killed. He runs out, and lo and behold, he got us both killed. And uh, I ended up losing all my shit. And uh, that's, that's what pissed me off. Because I, I, I've told them so many times that that tactic of just running out of a hostile zone like that does not work, ever. I've, I've, I've played this game too many alphas to know that in Albion Online, if you're too deep into <laughs> a territory with mobs and they respawn, you're fucked if you try to run, just, just try to run through them. We were one and two shot them on the way in. We have str we had strong, like really high tier stuff. I mean, I was one shotting most people in tier three with my damn staff because it did such a high damage burst. It was ridiculous. <sighs> so, but they didn't. We wouldn't listen to him. He got he got us killed, and I got pissed off, and that's when I got off earlier. And I went and watched uh, Jurassic Park uh, with the wife, and uh, since she's nice. never seen any of them except for the first one. She's finally seen the second one now, and now she hasn't seen the third one, so we're going to watch the third one probably tomorrow or sometime next week. By the way, Anthony, you know what you need to do? What? Be like me. Use a uh, low seat for your computer chair. I'd love like the good idea. Chair. A good chair. Oh, this is a good chair, man. Uh, I'm going to be building a desk here probably next week or so. I'm going to figure out when I can go up to Lowe's or Home Depot. I've got a gift card. And I'm going to build me like a really cheap desk and get it put together to where it can at least hold my monitors and everything. And uh, I'm going to make it to where it fits over my low seat. I'm going to put wheels on it. And on the, on the back at least, right? So when I pull it towards me, you know, I'm going to have to mount the monitors on here so they don't fall off. But once I do some rigging and stuff, I'll be able to literally set the desk right up on top of me and just recline this damn thing and play. <laughs> Blood Crow, lazy, lazy gaming at its best. Right, so, lazy gaming? Hold on, I'm going to show you my chair. I just noticed something looking at the reviews that are on the front page for I Buy Power on Yelp. 90% of the one star ones and two star ones that are still up here on the front damn page have all got this freaking Michael H from I Buy Power that's supposedly the new marketing manager basically just kissing ass. Yeah. And yet I have a legitimate issue and I said I've been having this problem for 10 months and they toss mine aside. What the fuck is that? Dude, give me that chair. That was my oh. birthday present. I will definitely. Oh my god. What was the chair? <laughs> it's in tears. Oh my god. Dude, Doja, give me that goddamn wounded, chair. Wounded warrior paid half in my insurance, paid the other half. Uh, oh.